Good morning boys. Today we will be doing exercise C which is on page 49 of your English grammar textbook. This is an exercise on simple present tense. So before we begin the work, let us revise what simple present tense means. Okay? So here we have Simple present tense. Tense is the tense shows the time of action. Okay, the tense of a verb shows the time of action. What is a verb? A verb is an action word. Stand, sit, cry, play, drink are all verbs. Is, are, am, was, were, has, have, had are also verbs. So, a verb is an action word. Okay? Then you have tense. What is the tense of a verb? The tense of a verb shows the time of action. The root form of verbs are verbs without endings. Like S, E, S, E, D and I, N, G. So you have write, sing, dance, eat, sit. These are the root form of the verbs. Then you have simple present tense. What is simple present tense? Simple present tense are actions that happen regularly. Habitually, every day, what you do every day or it is the universal truth. So regularly, you get up in the morning at 5 o'clock regularly, you brush your teeth habitually. It's a habit, good habit, okay? And the sun is at the center of the solar system. That is the uh, universal truth. So, now let us do exercise C. Please open your books and get ready. Let us read the instruction first. Fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verbs given in the brackets. In the pre simple present tense. Ankita dash a glass of milk before she goes to sleep. So every day what does Ankita do? She the word is drink. Root form of the verb. Ankita is one person. One person is root form of the verb plus s. So Ankita drinks. A glass of milk before she goes to sleep. Number two, Mr. and Mrs. Reddy. How many people? Two. Dash their children very much. Love. When you have more than one, you just use the root form of the verb. So two people, more than one, root form. So Mr. and Mrs. Reddy, what is the root form of love? No additions. So it is love itself. Mr. and Mrs. Reddy love their children very much. Dogs. Dogs more than one. So their tail when they are happy. Wag more than one plus root form only. So dogs wag. Wag their tail when they are happy. She dash beautiful poems in English. Right. Now you have she. That is one person. So what do you have? Root form plus S. So she writes. W-R-I-T-E-S. She writes. Beautiful poems in English. Number five, they. They dash their car in the garage. 
Fuck. But they means more than one person. Okay? So they, just the root form of the verb. Plural, root form of the verb. Singular, root form of the verb plus S. Okay? So they park. They park their car in the garage. Number six. Mr. Mera dash the water in the aquarium once a week. It's a habit. Okay, so Mr. Mera is just one person. So what must you do? Root form plus S. So Mr. Mera change will change to changes. Changes the water in the aquarium once a week. She dash off the lights when she goes out. Switch. She, one person. Switch is the root form plus S. So, switches. S-W-I-T-C-H Now, here you have to add E-S. E-S. Switches off the lights when she goes out. Number eight. You dash very funny jokes. Tell. You. Like I have said, you is used with both singular and plural. We usually take you in the plural. So, you, root form of the verb. You tell. You tell very funny jokes. We dash bits of paper in the dustbin. Throw. We means more than one person. Okay? So, we, root form of the verb, throw. So, we throw. Number 10. Manan dash the ball very hard. Manan is how many person? One. What must you do? Root form plus S. So, Manan hits the ball very hard. Okay? Please check your work. Make sure you do it correctly. Understood? And I will get back to you in the next class. Thank you.